Hey, play it, and welcome back to another Mario Maker 2 Let's Play. <laughs> this is going to be for our Halloween spooky time seasons, and uh, yeah, this is the second half of the other video we recorded of Mario Maker, should have already come out by now. Um, yeah, so this is the intro for this video, that is the second half of that video, so that's why I'm doing an intro, because we didn't do an intro. But hopefully you guys enjoy, if you do, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want with this video. And we will catch you in this video that you're about to watch. Halloween? I love Halloween. Freaking bats! I love Should we save this one for Halloween when we post it? Nope. It's October 1st. Oh shit, it is October. I forgot what day it was. It's I was October. thinking, they need to make a system to write the date. If you don't know like what day exactly, like if you're planning something, or if you have to write like, this happened on this day. But if you only know like the week around of what it happened, they need to make a symbol that you write, and then write like a one for week one of that month. And then it just means sometime within that week. You know? So rather than getting like an exact date, or having to write like a range of dates, you just write a symbol. That was Ghostface. And that's a ghost. I guess. It's like looking forward. A ghoul. That's this is the whole mushroom. level. I think it is. <laughs> we'll see if I beat it first try. If you beat this first try, I'll uh, I'll holla. Have a happy. You know, I'm gonna be honest. This Halloween. this might be playing Halloween music. Oh, it could be a music level. GG. That was a whole level. Uh, Did that well, make you feel good? We beat a yeah. level. Yeah, it made me feel really good. It made me feel like I'm ready for some Halloween. For some I'm ready Halloween. to go egg some old people. First beat off of the day. What is what time is that for you? What? First beat off of the day. Like. 12.01 12 a.m. Why is it so staticky right there? Because it's spooky. Yeah, but it's like straight up like my TV's broken right there, static. No, but it's, it's, a, huh? it's just the effect. Can, this is scary. I didn't know they had Luigi's Mansion in this game. This is Luigi's Mansion. Remember this episode level in Luigi's Mansion? <laughs> Remember the episode in Luigi's Mansion? Hey, shut up. Was it a Telltale game? <laughs> Luigi's Mansion, the Telltale game. That would be fun. Oh, There's got to be something up here, right? Yeah, probably. It's probably the, the end of the level. If you can survive. Okay, so there's nothing up here. It's a secret block. Oh. I feel lied to. Yeah, this sucks. Um. Let's go through one of them. All right. He picked M. Oh, Jesus. It's like Luigi's Mansion. This is just Luigi's Mansion, dude. Yeah, it's a dead end. Wait, is there something in these no blocks? It's music. Okay, I'm going to guess no. Okay, so that's not the correct way to go, clearly. Say, so can you shoot a... Fuck. Can you shoot a ghost, Isaiah? Okay, have you ever seen a ghost? I have, actually. Like, legit? No. <laughs> Why'd you lie to me? Well, I've seen him in movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the same. I've seen Poltergeist. Huh. Okay. Can they, they're they coming oh. after you. I don't know what the hell you think you're oh, doing I right they were now. still the ones on the pipe. Where do I go? I think you go back now. Now you go back. Yeah, well, oh, go wait. Back. No, that the bombs are supposed to go through. Why are they getting closer to me? Just keep staring at them. What are you doing? That was the worst performance I've what ever are you seen. What talking about, man? Life. Some of them are in a circle, some of them are in a... Yeah, you just stand in the middle of the circle ones. No, not right where they can hit you. <sighs> <laughs> man, I don't remember Luigi's Mansion being so hard. Well, that's stupid. Well, where do I... You go? gotta guide oh, the... Oh, I see what I'm doing. Well... Yeah, okay, this is impossible. This level sucks, dude. <laughs> apparently Every a level lot... sucks. Yeah, apparently a lot of levels <laughs> just suck. Anyway... Um, I have seen potentially three ghosts in my life. Three ghosts, you say? Yeah, like no cap. I've seen, I think, three ghosts in my life. Uh, the first one, and I'm going to say this all, I, I am still very skeptical, like, in of general. Ghost. Yeah, like, even though I'm just about to tell stories of ghosts that I've quote-unquote seen. <laughs> Um, I'm still very skeptical and have a hard time believing in ghosts. But anyway, my first one was when I was but a child. But a child. And we lived, uh, we lived with our, like, our mom's boyfriend at the time. 
we were living there, not that it really matters, and I remember, <laughs> okay, and this is going to take forever. Tell your story, man. Just You're going to run out of time, <laughs> and uh, in their room, I remember seeing a person, what looked like a person, like a shadowy person, uh, like on the opposite side of the bed. So, like, I came into the door, then there's, like, the bed, and then there's, like, a, a doorway to outside. Woo! About damn time. Don't fall. I wanted to get the top. <laughs> <laughs> and so then, on the other side of the bed, as I, like, was looking through the door, I saw, like, a person just, like, who was standing up straight, and then they ducked down, like, behind the bed. I'd say, that was me. No, it wasn't. <laughs> And so I went and told Kenya you the first clear. Let's go. And so I told the, the guy, and he grabbed like a bat or something, or maybe it was a gun. I can't remember. I was a child. And he like grabbed it. And so like he was trying to look around the house to see like if there was like a person in the house. Because mm -hmm. I said like I saw somebody. Because like I really thought that I did. And then we couldn't find anything. There's nothing, no signs of anybody being in the house, no nothing. So, like, every now and then I, like, have that memory and it, like, haunts me. So what if it was just him, like, fucking with you? That'd be mean, don't you think? <laughs> be kind of funny. Would it? How high yeah, is this wall so. going to go? Probably until you get out of there, so probably run fast. And so, yeah, that was my first experience. The second one that I had that I can remember was at the West Jordan wood park oh i've told the story to my friends which is now uh torn down it's a new park there it's abandoned there's a new park there <laughs> no one's been there in years <laughs> it's a shittier park wait i'm supposed to get in that you don't have to i don't think oh shit put it down you fucker yeah just keep blasting him just blast him you gotta oh, kill him Okay, well, anyway, oh, well, that's the end of that. This level sucks. Yeah. Oh, 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 no! Uh, you just had to stand on the axe. So I was at this wooden park with my friend, and we were, I, don't, I honestly don't even know what we were doing, but we were there with him and his girlfriend at the time, and she was being, like, like pouty or some, something. I don't remember exactly pouty. what was going on. Yeah, <laughs> so she wasn't with us. And we were just like meandering around, like hanging out at the park. I don't know how you we die. see like underneath the park, there's like a little like slit in the wood where you could like see underneath this wooden like playground. Yeah, because this whole park had like a bunch of like secret places you could get in that yeah. weren't meant to get in. But like it was small. It was a yeah. small area. Okay, so so I see it first. I see what looks like a very pale hand like pull itself into the hole. So, like, it was, like, kind of resting on along the wood, like, to the outside. Impossible. And then, like, it Let's pulled itself that. in. And, like, I didn't say anything right at first. Mm -hmm. And then my friend looks over at me and he says, did you see that? <laughs> and that's when I'm like, okay, he saw it, too. Like, I... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't even know what you're supposed to be doing here. This level's called impossible, so... Well, clearly it's not, though, because they posted it. I'm just gonna kind of run. I was gonna say, I feel like that, that has to be what you're supposed to. Oh, you're supposed to go underneath. Uh, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, so we both saw this like hand, just like go. <laughs> whoa, whoa! That was not impossible <laughs> at all. Come on, man. So we saw this hand go into like underneath the wooden park and. You know, every now and then uh, we would like talk about that and remember it. And we were like trying to explain what it could have been. We were like, I don't know. Maybe, Fuck you. <laughs> maybe it, you weren't even the fastest. <laughs> maybe it was like a rat or something. I don't know. And, we're, and then he was like, no, like it looked like a hand. And I was like, yeah, I know. But like it couldn't have been a hand. That doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Scary Mario Water. I don't want to do any more scary. Ones. I want to do scary Mario Water. It's made by Peter Griffin, dude. It's literally made by Peter Griffin. Can't be bad. Oh, uh -oh. oh I'm done. Oh, hey, look, I'm done. How scared were you on a scale of 1 to 10? Like a 20. Yeah? Yeah. Whoa. There was a pipe there, is there? Where did that pipe go? That's a good question. Probably somewhere scary. Yeah, do you think... Yeah, could we have gone into that pipe? Oh, come on! 
I was <laughs> the fastest. Hang on, I'm gonna try to get to that pipe. Well, then I guess I will just tell the story. I don't know, maybe if this is too long, we'll just, just split it into two parts, if there's even enough salvageable material here. I think there's enough to cut out, that's for sure. Well, yeah. Can't Fuck. shoot your fire. I forgot about fire. Well, now you can't get hit again. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to get the record now. You oh, come on, man. Bro, you can't. No, I was going to say you like have to have a mushroom at least, but I guess you can go under. All right, we're going to check this pipe. Oh, bro. You have I to swear, swim into me. it. There's nothing. <gasps> yeah, you were just sucking. It was something. Uh oh. Come on. You gotta man. beat him. You gotta beat him. <laughs> I'm not gonna beat three can, you, <laughs> you can beat him. It's easy. Okay. You just have to jump on their heads. Okay. Oh. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's not for me. So. The third scenario where I saw a ghost was where you would expect to see a ghost because it was at the Stanley Hotel in Stanley in Estes Park, Colorado. Now, for those of you who don't know, this? like a few years ago, a few years ago, four years ago ish. So. For those of you who don't know, Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, is the hotel that uh, Mr. Stephen King stayed at, and he was inspired to write The Shining, based off of it. And if you don't know what The Shining is, go get a life. <laughs> Damn, man. Yeah. So we, uh, me and my girlfriend went to there for a little mini vacay a little while ago and you know we wanted to see the stanley hotel just hang out you know do some stuff so we went to the stanley hotel and we did their one of their uh night tours one of their ghost tours Ooh. and they kind of walk you around and show you the uh facilities and just show you everything tell you what may or may not be haunted where people have seen stuff or not mm -hmm. seen stuff you know all that stuff we got a really cool uh guide named uh voodoo voodoo is that his real name you think no. that was his real name <laughs> no because we found him on Voodru? we found him on facebook later and it isn't his name just andrew but, he <laughs> <Voodru>. <laughs> but he was pretty cool anyway so we're there chilling looking at stuff and we go down to like this like basement ish area and we go down there we're looking around and i see Somebody walking like down one of the back hallways. Oh, no, god damn it. Uh oh, you're gonna die. Walking down one of the back hallways. And like they go into a room. I'm like, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like they probably just work here. And then when we end up walking around and we go back to that area. And we go to that room and there's nobody in there. The and I'm like, wait a minute. Like, what? Where did that person go? And so I look over at my girlfriend, Moray. And I'm just like, did you see somebody like walking over here earlier? Mm -hmm. And I can't remember exactly what happened, but I'm sure she said something along the lines of, haha, yeah, right. Like, don't like mess with me, you know, something like that. Because she probably thought that I was like being fake, which is fair, but like I was being very serious. I was trying to be like, <laughs> yo, I saw somebody like over here. Where uh -huh. did they go? And so then I kind of like realized, like, huh, I must have like, whoops, it must have been not a person i guess not a person it could have been your eyeballs but nah it's probably a ghost i mean it, it looked <laughs> like somebody was walking like back down at the end of the hallway like legit. i guess i should also say i don't believe in ghost either clearly oh i was just supposed to go up <laughs> <clears throat> yeah but so yeah i still don't like fully believe in ghosts because like i feel like at this point in like human evolution why don't we have more proof you know that kind of stuff mm -hmm. like especially with cameras now like why is every <laughs> why is every <laughs> okay this level sucks why is it's every hard. why is every uh ghost video like shot on like an awful like an iphone like, camera from 2010 awesome this is gonna be fun that one looks insane this is gonna be super refreshing i need that I thought you died instantly. I truly don't know what's happening right now. Oh, here we go. Here you we are go. running. <laughs> yeah, I am. I think I'm going to have a seizure. 
Yeah, the, the, we're going to have to put a warning on this one. <laughs> <laughs> where am I? I don't think I've ever, like, I know I've had, like, weird experiences where I'm just like, that could have been a ghost. But my brain just always like, what the fuck? <laughs> is that your brain or is that just you reacting to this level? That's the level. My brain always just comes up with, like, the, you know, the rational explanation for it. Because I'm just like, there's no way, like... If I hear a noise, I'm just like, oh, it's probably just, like, a fucking thing in the walls. Or yeah, something. like a ghost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, somebody, like, in a show, they see, like, a... Like, I always, like, think a show's stupid, because, like, they'll watch a chair move on its own, like, fly into the ceiling, they're like, huh, must have been the wind. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. Like, I see something, like, weird that, like, some people would be like, oh, it's a ghost, but then I'll just look at it and be like, huh, that just, yeah, it kind of just looked like a thing. Like, it just happened. It's something else. <laughs> see Big Mario? Big Mario. Oh, Big Mario right there. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, no, I like, so if I have experienced ghosts, they probably just get frustrated with me and leave, because I'm just like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> well, you'd think they'd do that with, like, everybody, man. Because, like, most people don't believe. But, like, you can definitely tell where the idea of ghosts would have come from in the past. Well, like, yeah, it's like one of those things where it's like, you, like, there's no wonder why there's so many myths and legends and religions, because people were walking around without glasses and without... Like, <laughs> like they, these people walk around at night seeing everything blurry, and they just see, like, a shadow or something, and they wouldn't know what it was. Yeah, you could literally or see didn't... another person walking around and think that they were a ghost. Yeah, like a hairy wolf and think it's bigger because you don't have glasses on, and then it looks like a werewolf. Or, like, people didn't know what... Oh, am I playing the Sands level? <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. Just the... <laughs> <laughs> or people, like, didn't know what a lot of, like, mental disability... Mental disorders. Mental disorders, yeah. We just <laughs> took an edit at that level. But yeah, I mean, that's very true. Or like, even... Uh, um, you think about, like, sleep paralysis. Whoa. Damn, you're not trusting the arrows. Sorry. It said go down. Oh, there's a big arrow there. I'm gonna go this one, because I'll trust the comment. <laughs> yeah, you gotta trust the real arrows. <laughs> But uh, it's like sleep paralysis and how people see like sleep paralysis demons. Mm -hmm. like it's like, yeah, no wonder you thought that like ghosts were real because that. Yeah. Of course, you're going to think a demon is real when you don't know anything and all of a sudden like. Except for it's weird. If you don't know what a demon is, what is your sleep paralysis? Fuck. Man, you didn't trust the arrows. Yeah, I wasn't looking What's wrong around? with you. Like if you didn't know what a demon was or sleep paralysis or any scary things, then would you still see something scary in a sleep paralysis thought? Yeah, because like it's not like it's it's not like it's something your brain knows. It's just what it does. So that's why I'm saying back then, before they knew what it even was, you would have just been asleep. Well, what and is then your the brain? Next thing just you know, create a demon like <laughs> because it hates you. I don't well, know. Like if you because you only think of what you know, right? Like it's not like your brain's coming up with things that you don't. I mean, see. they knew that demons were real. I guess, but like prior to like us finding out about like religion and demons and stuff like that, like what was it? They probably just saw, like, big, like, scary animals and stuff. I guess. Like, they saw a fucking woolly mammoth in their tent? Yeah. Um. Basically. Oh, save. But, like, I just can't even imagine, like, not knowing what sleep paralysis is and then having that happen to you, like, would be the most terrifying experience you could possibly imagine. I mean, the first time it happened to me, I had no idea what it was. Wait, you've had sleep paralysis? I have sleep paralysis, like, every week, my guy. What? I have a lot of... I lucid dream a lot. Like You're, an absurd amount. But, like, lucid dreaming and sleep paralysis are yeah, different. I'm saying I do, like, both of them. Or I'll do, like, the... I'll, like, wake up, but then I'll get up and, like, go to the bathroom, but then I'll, like, be like, wait, I'm not up yet. And then I'll actually open my eyes, <laughs> and then I'm still in bed. Or, like, I'll do, things, I'll do shit like that. I'll wake up from dreams a lot, that I'm not awake. Um... There's no arrow. Oh, come no, on, you, man. You should have waited for something. Or no, you were supposed to go through a different door, I guess. What? This is the only door. Uh, maybe it's a secret door. Unless it's oh, it's a mirrored. It's reversed. Oh. Okay, so then I go there. Boom! Look at that genius. Boom! This level is actually really fun. So, have you seen a sleep paralysis demon? I don't think I've ever seen a demon, but I like definitely woken up. The first time I did it, I was at our grandma's house, and I was young, and I was in the room, uh, down in her basement, and I woke up, 
It was after I had a weird ass dream about heaven and hell. What the scared the shit out of me. But then I, uh, I couldn't move, and so then like I was just lying in the bed, and I was like stuck there. And I, my, luckily I think my face was down, like into the pillow, so I couldn't really see in the room, which I think you know saved me from seeing any <laughs> weird shit. What if you like suffocated? Well, I wasn't like face down. I was more like, oh. like my head was just kind of like my eyes were covered in the pillow, my face and my mouth and nose weren't kind of thing. And then I, well, actually got up and I cried and I went upstairs. Did you tell anybody? I th don't think I told Nana that night, but. <laughs> Whack. Yeah. Sweet Plus is weird. But yeah, no, I lucid dream a lot. Like, in the mornings and shit. I used to get a bunch of Charlie horses in the middle of the night. <laughs> 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 well. <laughs> like, it'd be in my legs. Uh -huh. Like, sometimes I get it in both legs. I don't think I've ever had it. I've had cramps. No, I've had, like, a straight up, like, my, my calf feels like it, like, <laughs> split open. And I'm just sitting in bed, like, ah! You just wake up in the middle of the night. Like yeah. This I remember... God damn. Okay, now I'll save this for next time. All will right. You, will you forget? Okay, I'll leave a note for me. Um, Goosebumps stories from the video store sharing bedroom. All right, so <laughs> that's that's a little snippet of how my notes usually look. That's going to be... That's a little teaser for what's going to come in the future of some episode of something. something. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one, flies and walks. Hopefully this video isn't 50 minutes. <laughs> no, this has to be two different videos. All right, well, see you guys in the next video. I already said thanks for watching flies and walks, <laughs> oh. so we can just cut, cut that.